Coastal Chic look, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the personal flowers or the flowers to wear. I have some boutonnieres and uh, bracelet and a ring bouquet or ring flowers. And then I'm going to show you a couple of ideas for a bridal that would be appropriate for an oceanside wedding. First, I want to just sort of show you out of this little tray. This is a wonderful tray. I fill it with sand so it gets, gives it the beachy feeling with a little shells sort of stuck in there. It's a great way to showcase the beauty of some of these items, like this little boutonniere with a, that, the glass, the broken glass, seaside glass, little shells in there for that one. And by the way, these little pads that's been created, these little spirals are perfect spots to add flowers in. So some of these I've left it open so you can see you can put as much flowers on it, or you can leave some of it for a decorative look. This bracelet, I think this is very quite beautiful. You just open it up and clamp it down. And it's just one ornithogalum blossom with a little bit of talansia, just very elegant. And, and then we have a couple of ring ideas. And I'm going to take this one. You always wear the ring for flowers on that this finger here, but see how pretty that is. It's, it's quite a nice statement with this. This I think is really kind of neat for even like <clears throat> prom because you can glue flowers onto this and make it quite big. And as they're dancing, the flowers are right there, which is very, very beautiful. Yes. I just want to just quickly show you how like the boutonniere piece, how it's made. It's very, very easy, simple. I'm taking just a little shell and twisting it together, wrapping it and twisting. And what I do is just simply take this end of it so that I have two shells on either end and just wrapping it so that it catches like so. And then what I do is I simply sort of create a base with it, real random, like that. And then I'm going to take another piece of, this is a one millimeter wire. And I'm just going to start up by creating those little coil. And this is such soft wire that it's very, very easy to just, with, with your hand, just curling it. This is some of the things that you can do well in advance so that you can have all these parts made like that. And this side as well, we'll create that start. And it doesn't have to be real perfect. Some of it could be a little bit more asymmetrical, a little looser or tighter, whatever you wish. But you just sort of create that double end. And then you take this and just do a simple wrap around that. And then finish off the top side and then the bottom side so that you just have that main core and then top and bottom like this. It's very, very simple. I mean, that's just a, uh, a quick version, but you can see that you can make it a little bit more elaborate very, very quick and simple. So that gives you that little touch of sea with the seashells. So in this uh, boutonniere form that I created, probably the simplest method to attach flower onto this, especially when the flower is a single petal, very light material, such as some of the smaller orchids, or like in this case, like the ornithogalum. It's very papery, very thin. And so with that, you can very easily use half of a U-glue dash. I just tear off half of it and then attach that to the wire and peel off that other side. And you're able to just simply push that right in so that it's finished like this. I think this is one of the easiest way, but if the flower is a little heavier, like a little spray rose, something that has a heavier calyx, then the best way would be to use the Oasis glue the liquid cold glue, and that makes it even more secure. I would not venture to use anything too heavy on this because the stickiness, it's good, 
but you don't want to trust it for anything that might be heavy. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple of bouquets. One is something that's in the Nautilus shell because I think this, it's such a great, you know, shell to hold. It just fit, fills that cup of your uh, palm. And so it's a really a nice piece, I think, for like a bridesmaids or a flower girl and perhaps a, a very mature bride who doesn't want anything too fussy but something very elegant. So in, in this, it has a well in it, so an opening that is perfect for holding foam so that you can design into this very easily and it would hold water. Now I just cut a piece of foam like this and simply, you, if you would just push it in like this, there's no securing necessary by wedging into this. I mean, not, it doesn't, whoop, except for the water, it doesn't come off at all. And so there's no taping necessary whatsoever. But this way, you have something to design into. Now, this stand is actually, with the, with, with the uh, vase, is actually perfect to design uh, this. What I would do is actually take a couple of, again, new glue, and just stick it here, just to secure it in place to just work on. And that makes it much easier to design. It's really awkward when you don't have a holder, a proper holder. And, uh, Fortunately for us, there's a great container that is perfect for this purpose. I might just put that as well as maybe another one right on the lip Very here. Nice. But what I've done for you today is something like this. So really, all this has really simply is one stem of Phalaenopsis, Ornithogalum, a little bit of uh, hanging Amaranthus, beautiful Tillandsia. I think Tillandsia really has a very seaside look to it. It has that beautiful sort of windblown greens, that sort of gray green. And I think the flower perfectly matches with a nautilus shell. So this is a very easy design to do. Not a lot of foam to cover. So really just a few pieces and voila, it's done. Now I have another piece that's quite interesting. Um, there's a beautiful shell these shells that come in four different colors in one package. It's just stunning. The color is gorgeous. And I think that the colors, that the pink tones in it, there's two, the lavender and a pink tone, and then there's a the blue tones. And what I've done, uh, I think this also looks like almost like a little purse that you can carry, isn't it? It's, it's got a very good look to it. What I want to do is actually create this into a bouquet by having the foam sandwich between the two just slightly stagger it so that there's an opening to design into here. And if you should so want to, you can design through there and you can even hang underneath if you like because there's enough of an opening to do all those things. But to keep these close together, what I do is take the U-glue and put a couple over on this side. The reason why I do this is I'm gonna strap it together with wire. I'm also putting couple on this side like this here and there. And I'm gonna peel this off. And the reason, like I say, that I do this is so that when I put, bind it together with a wire, the wire doesn't slip up and down. So what I'll do is, and this side is slightly ribbed, so that's gonna to hold together fairly nicely, but I'm gonna actually attach it to that glue dot and bring it around and around, sitting across that, those glue dots like that until it runs out and I'll attach it, tie it together like that. So this is a bouquet that it could be in that same mechanic and you can see how that works. I've used the hydrangea as a backing. So really literally this is the back and I use the, the aqua color in the front so that the backing has the, you can see the hydrangeas in the back. So it looks really quite lovely from all the way around. And again, the use of Tillandsia makes it very beachy. Now I just